Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, October 15th. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend here, and now we start the week fresh. Uh, we do got a few ec economic um, items here on the calendar here, so we'll start off with, pardon me there, uh, we'll start with the retail sales for the month of September. So in August, we had a 0.1% increase. Uh, forecast it was actually much higher, probably, I think it was right around half, uh, at least those were the whisper numbers, uh, but came in at 0.1 percent so a little disappointing there uh we may have had some factors you know from the hurricanes and everything uh, now we take out big items like uh autos and this includes gas and a few other items here uh this kind of gives us our control group and in august it went up uh 0.3 percent and in september it actually fell backwards at 0.1 percent now the next item here is manufacturing in the new york region which is uh which is presented to us by the Empire State Index. So in September, it went up 19, and it was actually dropped. It dropped in from August and uh, September, but in, from October, I'm sorry, from September to October, as you can see, it went back upwards uh, to 21.1. So manufacturing went, improved a bit in the New York region here. And last but not least, we got the business inventory. So in July, we had a 0.7% increase in business inventories. In August, it also increased by half a percent. So good overall numbers there. Manufacturing retails were a little bit disappointing for September, but we'll have to kind of watch that, see if that becomes a trend or not. Headline news. So far, stock market is down but as I did this, but it's been kind of going back and forth a little bit. We're, we're seeing um, kind of going tip it's dipping its toes in negative and uh, positive territory. So it's kind of going back and forth a little bit here. Uh, I put this in down because all three indexes at the time when I started creating this were down. But as I've been creating this, I've been seeing a few of them kind of popping in positive territory and, going, and then going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, we do got the Q3 earnings season starting this week. Uh, we had a few sneak peek back on Friday. So that kind of dictated the markets on Friday. Uh, we got some geopolitical news also. We have the Saudi Arabia in, uh, situation where... Uh, they're being accused of uh, basically murdering a um, journalist. And uh, President Trump has put out a uh, stern warning. If this is found to be true, uh, there will be uh, pretty harsh penalties uh, for Saudi Arabia. So, uh, of course, the first um, reaction is to possible tariffs uh, or um, sanctions on their oil, which could obviously give a big boost to the oil uh, prices as well. So that could... Uh, that could be a factor as well. Let's jump ahead here to see how this is affecting the bond market. Sorry about that. Uh, bond market, here we go. So right now, we're, as you can see, we've been coming, we're right in the middle here. We got pretty big swings here between, uh, you know, it was about 89 basis points between these two spreads. So we got a pretty wide range here where we could fluctuate. So this can be a little dangerous area where we could have a nice improvement or we could go a uh, pretty big drop here. But right now, we're kind of about where we left off on Friday. So there's really no change so far which means uh, there's no change in pricing uh, for interest rates. So interest rates haven't changed from what we saw on Friday. Uh, mortgage or 10-year treasuries uh, were up a little bit from where we left off on Friday. Right now we're hanging about 3.16. Uh, we left, I think it was around 3.13 or 3.14. Uh, but today, so far, we're at about 3.16. So we're in this range here as we got pulled down a little bit closer towards that 25-day uh, moving average, even though I didn't touch it. It did uh, pull down a little bit on uh, Thursday. All right, so again, our interest rates are about the same as what we left off on Friday. Not really, didn't see a whole lot of change. Uh, the markets will be kind of dictated where the stock market goes today. So keep an eye on the stock market. If it goes in negative territory, that will help out the bond market. If stocks start taking off, that will be at the expense of uh, mortgage-backed securities. So keep an eye on that throughout the day. But if you guys want uh, any changes in the markets, uh, and find out where the market ended up, just come over to Twitter. I do post all that information here at Mike Bjork on Twitter. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching us. Uh, again, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a great day.